Hey guys, so I figure I'd do another video. <laughs> this is not a haul video. Um, but I will show you, I, I don't think I showed these in a video, but I did find these at Hobby Lobby in case anybody's looking for the fine line glue um, bottles. You can find these in the hobby section where they have the model um, cars and everything. If you look in the adhesive area of that aisle in Hobby Lobby, you will find these. They have the two kinds. They have the um, fine tip and the yellow bottle, which is a uh, has a bigger tip. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for these, they have them in Hobby Lobby too. Um, but I wanted to show you my completed, um, and you'll see this. I used this for my um, what I had organized my organized um, Zig clean color water brush pens. So I have most of the set now, and um, I showed this in my haul, and this is a 120 pencil case. Um, let me actually show you my other pencil case. Um, I had bought I had bought one of these online before at Jerry's Artorama, and funny enough, they're actually located in my my hometown. Um, they have other colors. Um, this is a I think coral is what they call it but they have a blue one like a denim blue and I think a mustard color too so these I have two of these which hold my um, I think this is my ink tents yeah my Der Derwent ink tents colored pencils and then these are some metallic and these are um, they're not there you use these with water okay and if you guys know ink tents the colors are much more vibrant than a regular, um, or the, the color is different. So once this dries, it will not react to water again. So, um, that's kind of a nice thing to have, right? So, um, this, I think, uh, I don't know how many of these hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, that doesn't look right. It's probably 24 because there should be four in each and I just don't have enough pencils. See, this one only has three. So um, it's, it's a 48 case. So I have two of these for my Derwent Intense Pencils and Metallics. And then I have this one, which is another 120 case. And this one has my Faber-Castells. You're probably like, well, just get to the point, right? Um, my Faber-Castell pencils. I just wanted to show you because um, then you can see the pencils in them because look at that with the pencils you can put three to a um, uh, elastic section and this is a full set of um, Prismacolor watercolor pencils um, so that's what that looks like and then with this one I put in I was looking for a case that could hold the entire set there's 80 clean color watercolor pencils a watercolor markers and this is a set this is a case for 120 and since markers are fatter than the pencils you will take up the entire thing so um, you'll notice what I did here is I used a paint pen to um, color the little button the snap and that tells me that this is actually the warm colors and this is the cool colors and neutrals so I don't have to open the wrong side I didn't do that with my other one with the colored pencils for whatever reason. I didn't think about it. So um, I know that this side has the warm colors in it and I'll show you what they look like now so you can see what I've done. So um, I did do um, the color swatches. Um, you can download these color swatches from Jennifer McGuire, um, her blog, and she has a free download, and there's three pages, and I printed this from my um, inkjet printer onto watercolor paper. Um, I cut it, I cut some 9 by 12 watercolor paper down, that the Canson XL. I just cut it down into 8.5 by 11 sheets and then fed it into my um, printer, and um, Jennifer McGuire's um, swatches actually print two to a sheet so there's three pages and then you have um, you know all of the um, 
swatches and so the three that are in here are the color swatches that are on this side and um, you'll notice that I am missing a few and that is because I'm waiting for a shipment um, that has all of the remaining ones that I need minus two which they didn't have in stock so that I didn't order from them and um, so I need a few more I think there's ten that I'm missing total um, two that I actually need to order and the other eight are supposed to come from um, a place that I ordered from and um, I don't want to promote their store so <laughs> that's why I'm not saying um, anyway um, so yeah so what I did here was this is me coloring directly onto the um, Canson paper and I did use the smooth side the smoother side of the paper so um, in case anybody's wondering um, I colored directly onto the cardstock here and then here I colored halfway and then I started the water um, about a quarter of the way in so you could actually see me pulling the color out to this side of the card um, so that's why you see there that it looks like it's kind of blotchy but that's kind of what you want sometimes with watercolor so um, this is what I did to organize my zig clean color um, markers now I haven't had a chance to really play with these too much I'm hoping to well I don't know if it'll be this week but um, hoping to soon and the other thing that I purchased at Hobby Lobby is this water brush pen now this is a Pentel um, water brush pen and I've used other ones before I've used um, one for a long time that I thought I liked and I, I um I ended up not liking it as much because the water would come out of the um, the center section and it had it had a plunger in this in it and this one doesn't have a plunger and it doesn't drip like the other one did this was at Hobby Lobby and I um, purchased it there the other thing that you can do is also put the cap on the end and you won't lose it so there you go and it's shaped like this so that the the brush doesn't roll around on your desk but I do like this brush I think I saw this brush originally I had seen it on um, Sandy Alnick's channel and um, I forgot the name of it I forgot to write it down and I was at Hobby Lobby thinking oh I hope this is the brush that she recommended as an aqua brush um, so I purchased it they, they actually have a three pack um, with different um, tip um, nibs um, so I actually ordered that from Amazon the three pack and it comes with different size nibs um, there's it's three different brushes so I did order those uh, as well on Amazon um, but I do like this water brush pen um, better than the other one I was using um, simply because number one it doesn't have that plunger that you have to pull back to suck the water in um, either and I was having a problem with that too and then um, you know it leaking down and this one didn't doesn't do that um, so I really do like this brush better um, so this is the brush I'll probably be using um, and so yeah let me show you the whole organization so you can see here that what I did was um, this is missing one of the pens obviously that I either have an order or I have not ordered yet and I have placed them opposite directions so that I can take it out easier the other thing um, I had asked Jennifer McGuire on her blog when she first showed her I think one of the videos she did I asked her if there's a specific way that you're supposed to store these and she said no you can store them either horizontally or vertically it doesn't matter um, so I will just store them however they fit best in my um, Rascog cart which is where I also store my um, watercolor pencils um, that I have so um, the only thing that's not stored there is my distress markers because I actually have a um, uh, what do you call it I have a display stand that I bought at a craft yard sale that is holding my this um, my distress markers so that is the um, storage for my clean zig clean clean color water brush markers so um, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, this was $29.99 at Hobby Lobby, but use a coupon for 40% off, and it will be a better price. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.